Welcome to part two and in this part we are going to take the same four chords pretty much the same rhythm but do something which is more percussive in nature what you would expect maybe a, a conga player or a tabla player to do as opposed to what a drummer may think of doing like I said in the last part the piano is very very clever at adapting itself to other instruments or playing or literally copying other instruments if, if you want to use that word so you have arpeggios which can be played like this let me just show you once and then slow it down pretty much the same technique as earlier the only addition is a triplet a triplet which is quite fast so I don't do it's going to be very very aggressive and people are going to probably throw something at you so uh, with, with the arpeggio what happens with an arpeggio is it makes the makes something which is faster a little more mellower Right? If you play chords really, really fast, especially on a piano, which is, I would say, a one stroke instrument, unlike a guitar where you can play with two strokes and that makes it more interesting uh, sonically. The piano is pretty much a one stroke instrument. That, that means you're just hitting down. You don't have an up hit, right? I wish we had one, but we don't. So you go. Okay, let's get that C minor thing first. So you hit the snare, use the thumb, and start the arpeggio not from the only exclusively the right hand, you start it from the left hand. So you go, and the same thing repeats for the other chords. Let me show you C minor, get C minor, and then you can do the other ones. arpeggio slightly softer so it doesn't annoy and it creates a more subtle ghost like effect you see my snare hits are still aggressive but the arpeggio is just adding a, a, a color So that's about a triplet arpeggio and it makes the song a lot more, uh, I would say, folk rockish. You can use this more in like uh, folk rock or bluegrass songs perhaps. So yeah, again, pretty much the same chords, C minor, E flat, B flat, F. It'll work for songs like Radioactive and Boulevard of Broken Dreams. And I'm guessing a host of a lot more songs if you follow, you know, Indian film music or electronic rock or any such genre it could work and the main reason why I did this video is to show you that the piano is very much a rock instrument and uh, it can it can definitely play with a guitar or even without a guitar you have a lot of artists who perform you know without a guitar it's just a trio or something right again this is Jason here from Nathaniel School of Music hope you found the lesson useful if you did Please share it with all your friends and fellow musicians and also subscribe to our YouTube channel right now, please. Go and hit that button. And there's also a bell thing where you get notifications. You know where that is as well. Click that and uh, follow us for more videos coming your way. 
Cheers. Thank you.